these are the die cuts I use I bought it in the big lots um, like few years ago and instead of using them like um, just this way uh, I use them tracing them on cardstock and um, make it an, my own embellishment like for example this one is this and if you have these die cuts they can be a template for you and right here when you saw this one right here this was another die cut I just took the ribbon out and trace just for this part up here it was very simple to embellish with uh, pattern papers and some other stuff then um, the bear that you saw up here is this one I just trace it in another paper and then um, in a pattern, pa pattern paper I uh, just put glossy accent for the eyes and another um, paper up here the ribbon and that's it and for the bib I use this um, template for these bibs and just put some pattern paper and rhinestones and that's I use um, felt to make this towel and as well for the diaper up here I'm, I just made it with a little piece of felt and this safety pin and this one I had some yarn and I crochet it and these are tiny um, cloth pins and this line is made out of rope for this page I use these cards that I bought at Michael's is this cards and envelopes by a studio G it's only a dollar and it comes eight envelopes and cards and these are the cards but they come like this so what I did is I just cut it this part up here and I um, used distress um, stamp from Marta Stewart and I just distressed all the, the sides and then I decorated like that and for the inside this one is one of the die cuts um, for this one I use the envelopes <clears throat> and I just put it like this you open open the other one and then just glue this one in here so you have to um, glue the back right here very well and you just cover with paper pattern and that's how it, it looks then at the end as you can see I covered all the paper pattern all the way to the end so you don't see that they are envelopes see okay for this one right here there is a link that um, you learn how to do this brag book but um, the girl you, she uses um, um, she uses cardstock but I'm gonna show you how I did this one with the envelopes okay and for this brag book as you can see is like a Z and this is how she um, put the cardstock you will see in the link she just glue one cardstock on top of the other I think it's, it makes like two cards and then glue it together but instead of doing that I use these envelopes and I just put this one on the cover let's pretend this is my cover and I, I just glue this one to the cover and then I put glue here and I put the, the next envelope this way and then I glue the last envelope here and after it's done after it's done I had the Z and uh, I cover with um, pattern paper and you open this right here and right here so this is how I did right here so that's why I uh, glued the papers all the way to 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 the top so you don't see that there are envelopes but it was easier for me and so this is how I did 
for this page I used um, my cuddle bag and I emboss the page with one of the embossing folders that says for baby and this one are uh, envelopes too so I use the envelopes same as the square ones to make this threefold and I use these big ones that are from the collections it comes 50 cards and envelopes and I just did the same thing I just put one up here one in the other side and I glue this one in the middle and I just glue one in the middle so I had my tree fold and see right here one and this one I added up here this pocket just just to put the tags in the back this is one of the cards for this one right here as you can see these are two envelopes too and I just put them together like this one is right here and this one goes behind I just glue them and glue this one to the back so you can open it this way and I added this pocket and this another one by by cutting a um, cutting a, a one of the envelopes so this one right here and the the small part up here so I made these um, pockets right here there are two two pockets and this is one of the cards the circle cards um, that I have up here from the dollar bin and I just uh, punch these holes all around so it looks like a bib I also cut a little bit up here and they stress all the sides for this page up here I just did my own um, drawing up here for the um, bath bathtub and these are envelopes as well there are four envelopes and I just left the, the opening right here on top of these two so you can put these large tags and how I did this one is this way okay you, you just glue this this flap up here at the back of this this one and another flap up here on this side and you have this one and you get on the last envelope and you just glue this one on this flap that you see up here so you have this opening which is this one and then when you when you put this one together it will be like a trifle so you have like this put them together close and then the last one is this okay and don't forget if you want to have um, this tag up here you have to do a slight big cut on the top yeah I want to show you how to make these file pockets this one I just made it with um, these large envelopes too I just um, glue this up here and both of them and then just cut it in half uh, so I have four halves and I just put each half one on top of the other and I have like four pockets for these mini files I just use a real manila file and I just cut four of these um, pieces and I just um, drew this part up here so it can look a mini file for this 
for these pages right here um, I just grabbed two of the cards that comes with the envelopes the big ones and I just put one on top of the other and I just um, make two holes right here and put the ribbon and tie it at the back as you can see right here those mini holes right here with the mat crocodile and put the ribbon and tie it up here on top and I just put the pattern paper on, on the top only so I can have a lot of room for pictures for this page what I did is um, use um, one card cut it in half right here and I had two mats for pictures which are these two and I just used the Martha Stewart um, punch on top and I just put paper pattern in both of the sides pattern paper I mean in both sides and right here I use one cardstock and I just cut the size right here I just cut up here and this is one card and I just glue this part up here at the back so I can have a pocket in this side so right here all this way I just used um, hinges paper hinges I mean cardstock hinges I just put on the, on the sides right here so you can have pocket on this side and for this one there is also two cards two cards one right here and the other that I put them together and I glue right here in the middle and for this one I um, punch all of the sides on the of the um, of the card of the cards and this one I think you saw in another project that they had um, and also it's in the internet how to make this one it's just one 12 by 12 and I when it's done I just added this piece of paper on top a pattern paper so this can be a, a room for the, the mother to write uh, something about the birthday memories and um, then this one is just one 12 by 12 paper so when you saw this one you just have to fold in three is um you just score at four eight fold it then turn the page this way score at four and eight when you have uh, folded you will see marks right here so you have to cut up here fold it and you will see cut up here fold it cut up here fold it and cut up here and fold it so you have to have like a cross then what you have to do is just fold it in the middle first and then down to the top and down right here and this simulates like a gift so nobody knows what it's inside but it will be a lot of mini pictures from the birthday party maybe and this one I just made uh, with uh, Martha Stewart punch okay my friends this is all about this book and I hope you like it and you get some ideas on how to make them and um, thank you very much for watching see you next time bye Felt. And and um the line is made out of no it's not John. Rope? Yeah. In the line line cake was in and this is made out of um cord no <laughs> rope. Okay. Para esta página, no, en inglés.